Hey y'all, it's Mommy Wata and I am back. I hope you all are doing good at this time. Hello to all of my subscribers. Thank you so much for your support of this channel. Please be sure to tap that bell notification button. Also hit that like button and share my content if you feel the want or need to do so, okay? So let's hop into this next download. Dang, two just popped up. They might be related. What I wanted to discuss was someone paid another to leave you alone. They paid them off to leave you alone. Okay? And then this, I just thought about it, this other download may be related to it because of the consequences that they face for paying this person off to leave you alone. I'm not picking up that they that it was a good thing that they paid this person off, okay? I'm not getting that energy. So let's just see what comes out. 111. Holy Spirit, we are very thankful for all of the insight, all of the clarity, all of the details that you have provided us with thus far, Holy Spirit, because we know at the end of the day, we ain't going to know nothing unless you want us to know about it. Things ain't going to flow unless you decide that they're going to be flowing. So we are very grateful for the flow of information that you have provided us with, Holy Spirit. But what is the message at this time? What do we need to know about this download that I received from you through me, Holy Spirit, please and thank you. What would you like for us to know about this person who paid off another to leave someone in my collective alone, Holy Spirit? What What's going on here? What is the clarity? What is the lesson even, Holy Spirit, that we need to get from this message, please? And thank you, Holy Spirit. Y'all, let's do one more shuffle. What do we need to know here, Holy Spirit? What is the message surrounding that energy? Let's go. Knight of Swords. Someone took a very assertive and decisive action to bribe someone, to pay someone off for whatever reason. That's a decisive action, a very strong, assertive action. This person knew that what they were choosing to do could cause some destruction but they chose to do it anyway. Ace of Cups sideways. They did not want you to have a new beginning, a new relationship even, an opportunity with love, an opportunity for love with this other person. Now. That's why this Ace of Cups came out here sideways. And I'm leaving it sideways. <clears throat> they took action against your future with another. And I don't know who this person is that they paid off, okay? But I'm pulling something like it's two men here. There was somebody who wanted to pursue you and another man did not want him to pursue you. You could be a Pisces with this Ace of Cups and this Ten of Cups back to back. And some someone received some sort of benefit some sort of wealth for agreeing to leave you alone clarify what i'm getting holy spirit that's what i'm just just picked up though eight of swords queen of wands somebody did not want they wanted to restrict you from a partnership from someone else investing in you they paid somebody else to restrict themselves from you. It was almost like, I, I'm trying to think of, I can't even think of a, a popular culture example, okay? But I feel like somebody know what I'm talking about. Fo 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 on the clock. But whoever you are, Ace of Cups, you are divinely, as you this Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups energy because this person blocked your love now. Nah. You this queen of wands. They, they did not want you to get married even. 
Ten of Cups and the Ace of Cups can talk about marriage. It's like they wanted you to remain single. And you are an attractive, magnetic woman, okay? Because whoever this third party is, they were naturally drawn to you. You didn't know about it, but this person had been peeping you, okay? This person wanted to invest in you. They were deciding how they should invest, what they should invest. And they were discussing you with another masculine here. And whoever this other masculine is, they told this pinnacle energy, whoever this other masculine is, they're this high priestess energy as well. But you don't know about them telling, you don't know about this pinnacle, this earth sign, and you don't know about this other man who told this earth sign not to fool with you. What do we need to know about this high priestess energy, Holy Spirit? Things yet to be revealed. This has yet to be revealed to you, but we're gonna see if the Holy Spirit is gonna let us know what's let us know what's up right now. Holy Spirit. Let's see. The moon. <laughs> Whoever this is, they they um they are holding their identity close. Okay. They could have Pisces somewhere prominently in their chart. I'm picking up Pisces energy off this moon card coupled with this high priestess. That's their vibe. They are a hidden enemy. This person is insecure. And I feel like they have some sort of misconception about you. Because it's like... It, I don't know. I don't know why. It's like they, they know who you are. But they don't want to see nobody relish in who you are. They don't want to see anyone benefit from who you are in a good way they don't want to see you benefit from someone else who is your equal they want you to be in some sort of eight of swords queen of wands energy like where you're paralyzed you you're you're not able to come up out of this single womanhood and get in a good partnership get someone to invest in you for the long term with the seven of pentacles and this earth sign was gonna do it but whoever this hidden enemy is, you just celebrated what they asked before, okay? And you done left they ass in regret. Five of Cups. They definitely are a Pisces. They somewhere between Pisces, Cam Cancer, and Scorpio for sure. Because this Five of Cups is Scorpio energy. This Three of Cups is Cancer energy. The moon can be Cancer and Scorpio or Scorp I mean Cancer and or Pisces. So they may have all three water signs in their chart, whoever this is. But you've dated them before. You you had some sort of romance, some sort of hangout energy with this person. That may be why they think you aren't wife material. It's something like they know you wife material, but they want everybody else to think you ain't wife material. And they they don't want you to be wife material. It's something like that here. They weird, okay? But you wife material, even though they tried to make this earth sign feel like he was going to be in the five of pentacles if he pursued you. If he looked at you as some for, some sort of investment some sort of new beginning if he even thought that he was going to be able to manifest abundance with you this water sign and told this man that he ain't okay now the thing about the paying off is really falling in alignment with what i said because the ace of pentacles is right up under the knight of swords so you have an ace of cups to offer whoever you partner with. But this pinnacle energy, that's why he ain't coming out no higher than this night. Because that was a very, I would say, it wasn't a wise decision to make. He didn't got an ace of pinnacles from whoever this water sign is. But this earth sign... He in the five of pentacles already. 
That money didn't last long, okay? When you have access to an Ace of Cups, that's an overflowing pool of, it's like an infinite, it's just an, an ever flowing source of whatever this person has to offer. And whoever you are, Queen of Wands, you have a lot to offer. You're a good businesswoman. You're well-liked. You're kind. You're confident. You're mature. Okay? This Knight of Pentacles is immature. So this, ain't, this wasn't nobody who was really on your level anyway to even get paid off to not date you. But I guess it's the fact that it's a war sign out here doing this. Clarify, what else do we need to know here, Holy Spirit? Page of Wands. He's out here telling people wayward things about you. Justice with the King of Swords, Six of Pentacles, Page of Swords, Three of Pentacles. This Earth sign, who could be a Virgo, they not, or Taurus, they not the only person that this water sign has Halted, cut the deck on the two of swords from coming towards you. He just got this person with money. But what else has this water sign done against this Queen of Wands, Ace of Cups? You could have Leo somewhere prominently in your chart. Two of swords, y'all. I'm trying to tell you what I'm picking up on now. And, and the reason why... I don't think it's moving as fast as I know a message can move through me. It's because he is trying to conceal his identity. This man, we ain't seen his face. That's what I'm noticing. He, he's trying to keep his face hidden right here, and his back is turned. He's in this high priestess moon energy. He does not want you to know what he's been doing against you. Maybe this man is hoping that he can celebrate with you again one day so he's trying to stop other people from celebrating with you right now because he that's what he doing with this two of swords he's he he is putting people on the fence about you he's calling truces with individuals about you because i feel like everybody Ain't gonna be bribed away from you. This a this a little flunky type energy here, you know, a scrub type vibe. This earth sign here, okay. So that's why this water sign was able to pay him off. But it's been other people, honey, who ain't going as easily. Who this man has possibly even gotten into it with? Page of Wands, who who have a high level of enthusiasm about you. They have courage. Page of Wands talks about courage to say whatever you need to or want to say, despite whatever blowback you think you're going to receive. That's why a lot of Page of Wands energies are politicians, are preachers, are inspirational speakers, performers, because they take risk when they open their mouth and they express their opinions or their beliefs or even incorporate those into entertainment for other people okay so somebody an entertainer somebody is a page of wands who want to come date this queen of wands and this water sign and had some sort of struggle power struggle of some kind devil on the bottom because whoever this page of wands is, I feel like they, they got more of a fight in them than this earth sign for sure. There's some sort of obsession they have for this queen of wands, a desire for her judgment. And they have decided that they, that's what they want. Okay. So he, he's definitely gotten into it with somebody about you. But there, this emperor here, he ain't backing down from this water sign. Whoever this, this emperor is, he has Libra somewhere. Ugh, I'm telling you, 
He do not want you to know what he been out here doing against you. And these other men ain't going to say nothing to you about it. Because they don't want to ruin their chances with you. Because whoever this earth sign is, yeah, he went away quietly. Got a few dollars in his pocket, but he regret that shit. Because like I said, that money gone. He out in the cold. This water sign ain't giving him shit else. And he could have had a whole ace of cups with you if he would have played his cards right. And I'm just keeping it real. He would have. Whoever this earth sign is, they could have came up with you. They was in the seven of pentacles. But they chose to take the quick lick and ain't got shit. Now they in the five. But whoever this emperor is, he don't need this other man money. Okay? And I'm telling you, these two men have went toe-to-toe -to -toe about his interest in you. Like, they had to call some sort of truce about it. Two of cups. Because he wants to get in some sort of partnership and relationship with you. He wants to make some sort of connection with you. He has mutual respect for you. He Look, he want to do this. Queen of Pentacles with the Hierophant. Okay, he ain't playing around with you. He know a wifey when he see one, whoever this emperor is. So this water sign cannot tell lies on you, misrepresent the truth, create illusions with this moon card about what type of partner you are. Because see, you have celebrated with this water sign. That's why. Some people, and I'm telling you, it's a number of men. It ain't just this earth sign. It ain't just this emperor. It's a number of men who have tried to inquire about you. Somehow this man either was around. They might have asked him. He may have heard about it, but he thwarted their plans. Okay? Real quick, like, the most recent persons, people, is this earth sign and this emperor justice energy. But this emperor justice energy ain't backing down. I'm telling you, it's probably been nine men now. This is that water sign. It's probably been nine people who this water sign has been able to stop from dating you. But this 10th person is this emperor and he finna end this cycle of this man blocking your love life for whatever sordid reason. Because if he ain't trying to come and make you happy and make you fulfilled and help your wishes come true and you help him, if he ain't trying to partner with you, then why he doing all of this? Okay? That's only going to be able to stand before so long. There is anywhere, it was eight people before you even met. You ain't even, maybe you have met this earth sign. You just didn't know what was going on, 1818. But there were eight men with this eight of swords that you attempted to have an ace of cups, ten of cups with. It's out here. Not that you actually went the distance with them or slept with them. But there were eight different people who, who was trying to fuck with you now. I'm telling you. And this earth sign... He was the ninth, okay? And this emperor is the tenth because this water sign was sitting in the nine of cups as of late because he was able to stop this earth sign with this money here. But he in the ten of swords right now, he defeated. He didn't hit a brick wall and rock bottom because he don't got any more tricks up his sleeve to stop all of these different prospects from pursuing you. If you a divine feminine, if you a good woman, it don't matter what nobody try to do to block your love life. If you are standing in your divine femininity, if you are being the best woman you can be and doing the best you can every day, and you have your heart open to receive love and give love in return, God is going to bless you with a companion. I don't care what nobody say. Okay? Live in testimony. God is going to align you with whoever it is that you need to be aligned with. Companions come in many forms. But I'm talking about 
a romantic companion for whoever this is because she was always this Queen of Pentacles. She was always this Ace of Cups. She was always the ideal counterpart with this Queen of Wands and this Ace of Pentacles. Just because this water sign couldn't see that don't mean that nobody else ain't going to see that and go right forward to obtain it with this chariot energy. Okay? So, what's going to be the outcome between this emperor and this queen of wands, queen of pentacles, holy spirit? Tower with the fool. You're going to be shocked. You, you're going to be shocked. This is going to be an unexpected change, but the tower coupled with the fool is a good unexpected change. This risk that he's taking towards you is going to cause a collapse of your old way of life. You are not going to be trapped by someone else's restrictions. You are no longer going to be alone. This man is about to take a risk towards you. It's time to embark on a brand new beginning. That's what the card says, okay? And this water sign has thought about resilience. He didn't thought about two of pentacles, how he can stop you from getting with this man. He been working on that shit, but this emperor has already decided that this is his path to success that he will be happy, he will receive justice, you will be faithful to him. The Hierophant talks about marriage, commitment. He knows that you and him share the same traditional values because with this devil falling right up under this queen of wands, this water signs then tried to say you was a hoe, you was not wife material, but he did try to say you was a hoe girl. That's what they love to say, 22-22, to balance things in their favor because they mad because they can't get it no more. So now you a hoe because you ain't having sex with them, okay? <laughs> That's what they say now. But you wasn't no hoe when you was having sex with them, though. You wasn't. You wasn't no. This man, he was in the three of cups with you, okay? Y'all was having a good time. And he enjoyed it, and he was not regretting it. He regretted that it ended. What happened for this partnership to end? Looks like he may have been messing with another woman simultaneously, the son, okay? But y'all was having a good time. Freedom, fun, vitality, joy, happiness, pregnancy. So he may have gotten somebody else pregnant. Clarify, Holy Spirit. The Ace of Pentacles, Six of Wands. The Ace of Pentacles did come out behind his Five of Cups energy. Praise, applause, success, having the advantage, achievement. So it looks like he may have gotten a third party pregnant, or you could have been a third party and he got his partner pregnant. Y'all know how it can go. But that caused you to end the connection, whatever it was here. Okay, so ever since then, he been stuck over there with that baby mama. But he been trying to fuck your love life up. Look, King of Swords. Page of Cups. He been over there, you know, playing house, being a good co-parent, as he should. But in the meantime, in between time, he blocking your love life. That's why divine intervention has kicked in with this emperor justice energy. Judgment, emperor justice. The universe blew the trumpet on this man blocking your love life while he's sitting up, sitting up over there, so-called having a victory with the mother of his child. That don't even make sense, child. But yeah, he trying to restrict you with this four pentacles, knight of wands energy. This water sign, king of cups here, Death right behind that. Because one day, I'm telling you, this man has planned to connect, reconnect with you. 
Okay, so he don't want nobody to have been messed with you until he can get back on around over there to you. This ain't no divine counterpart. This is a karmic lesson that I feel like you learned. That's why the universe is also redirecting things in your favor. Okay, because like I said, this man, ooh, and the Holy Spirit says that's the truth too now. But this man want to reconnect with you. He want to return to his roots. So this is somebody that you've known for a long time. Okay? But for the time being, he is playing house. He is consistently putting in effort in a partnership, possibly with a Leo. Okay? So until he had the Ten of Wands with that, he can't have no four of wands with no divine feminine. But this other man can. And you don't want to have no partnership with a karmic soulmate anyway. If you got an emperor, your divine counterpart waiting to give you what you deserve. Because you have been waiting. Okay. Queen of wands, nine of pentacles, you're a single woman. So why would you wait on this man to finish playing house? Because that's what he doing. He got to be doing that because seven of swords on the bottom. If he was truly invested in this household, that's why the king of swords came out after all that energy too, though. Because if he was truly invested in, in the household he was in, this man would not be in no energy like that towards you. I'm sorry. He would not. He would not be in the Seven of Swords. With the Magician, very manipulative. Has done some very deceitful things, underhanded things to stop you from having a love life. But that, that's over with with this world card. That's over with. There is an emperor who is going to come in and make you his wife. You know, fuck all that boyfriend, girlfriend shit. I'm picking up on wifey, wife, wife shit, okay? You know, grown up people shit, because what the fuck? King of Wands, thank you, Holy Spirit. You and this masculine are matching up twice. Emperor and Empress, Queen and King of Wands. And he gonna be your King of Pentacles because he know that you deserve to be this Queen of Pentacles energy that's already out here. Will of Fortune. Temperance. I'm telling you, Ace of Wands. God not finna let your love life keep getting blocked. God let that shit keep going on because this King of Cups was blocking scrubs from you. That's what we saw with this Earth sign. Okay? Because this earth sign could have chose to invest in you, but he would have gotten more out of the investment than you ever would have because you were the fountain of abundance, of prosperity, of love, joy, all of that energy that is needed to manifest new beginnings, good news, growth, okay? So that's what would have happened with this earth sign, but he wasn't on your level. So him, among others, were blocked from pursuing you. And that's because with this temperance energy, God wanted it to go that way. Will of fortune with the temperance until possibly you were ready or this emperor was ready to have this ace of wands, four of wands energy. Okay. So, mm -mm. anything else, Holy Spirit, we need to know about this? Because that other dude is coming, but I'm not going to um, poke nor pry into that anymore. We already saw the chariot out here. Because th with this seven of swords to the magician, this king of cups may be doing magic, have, may have done magic even. Let me clarify that real quick before we close. Because I'm picking up something like that. That's why I stopped trying to inquire into the future plans of these people. God showed, look, look. 
Buster deck on the Wheel of Fortune. Six of Wands was on the bottom. God know that this King of Cups possibly has been spiritually spying on this woman to also block her love life. Five of Pentacles. This was something that was quite popular for a minute as well because it's been coming out that these attempts to block and delay the love lives of these divine beings is backfiring on these people in various ways, okay? Various ways. Karma can get real creative, okay? Especially when you doing things against divine energies. So, Holy Spirit, is was this, because if he's still doing magic, that shit ain't working no more, but was this King of Cups doing magic against this divine feminine to block her love life as well? Because it's eight energies. And I don't think he know all eight of these men personally. But whatever he did to or sent towards some of these men stopped them from coming towards you. So if he'd been spiritually spying on you, he didn't pick up on the different prospects over time. And he did do something spiritually to block these energies. Clarify, Holy Spirit. Seven of Pentacles. Up to seven of these people were just random people that he didn't know. But he spiritually became aware of their energy towards you. And he invested in stopping them from pursuing you. Okay? Page of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles, High Priestess. Because that's what he did now. Justice behind the high priestess to balance things in his favor. How he felt the scale should be balanced in your life. And that ain't right. It ain't right, y'all. Okay? So that's why this man may be facing some challenges with money as well. And that's because he bribed, paid somebody off to not date you. So now his pockets might be hurting, y'all. Seven, page eight, four. Okay, it's definitely been some sort of decline in funds. Because if he's trying to bribe people and possibly paying for magic to spy on you and do spell work, send spell work towards potential lovers, like that shit costs money. Even if he doing that shit himself. Eventually... He going to take a hit financially because he's sending out that dark energy to random strangers who he don't even know have no reason to be spiritually manipulating in any way. There ain't never no reason to be spiritually manipulating somebody, but he's spiritually manipulating strangers behind his obsession for you. Okay. And. He can't expect to receive good news from the universe in return if he out here doing that. And he not. Him and his baby mama is in the five of pentacles. Okay? While he out here trying to make other people think that being with you is a, a five of pentacles, he didn't got caught up in a five of pentacles partnership that he can't break out of. And that's why he's trying to stop you. That's why he's trying to put you in some sort of limbo energy so that until he can move forward, you know, you're going to have to be sitting over there somewhere chilling. King of Cups to the moon again, right off the bottom of the deck. Okay, let me see if I can get this. With the Seven of Wands, he's going to block your love life. Seven of Wands, Four of Wands. Look at this, y'all. Until he can move forward, this man is secretly going to block your unions, or so he think. Because I'm telling you, this emperor don't give a fuck about nothing he talking about. And for some reason, he ain't no seven of them men, but he knew. He knew a few of them. He, he knew this earth sign, directly knew this earth sign, because he paid him off. And he knows this emperor too. I don't know how he knows this emperor or this earth sign. We finna clarify and then we really gonna close, okay? Holy Spirit, how does this King of Cups know this emperor? Please and thank you. How do they know each other? 
Ace of Swords, they know each other. They may have had done some sort of business together. They may have had some sort of victory together. A new opportunity. Ten of Cups, investing. Nine of Cups, Ace of Wands. So, ooh, Queen of Cups. So, this Emperor is aware of this Queen of Wands. See, that's why I be like, it ain't no six degrees of separation. It might be two or three degrees. Because I'm telling you, I was in Australia. I'll never forget it. I was in Australia. And I met someone who had a relative who lived in my small hometown in the middle of nowhere on the map, okay? That's how close, and I knew the person that they were referencing. But they lived all the way in Australia, in Sydney. So, you know, it ain't that many degrees of separation between folks, okay? And whoever this emperor is, he's done some sort of investment with this king of cups, but that came about through his baby mama, this queen of cups. So that's how he knows this man. But how did this man, it's almost like this emperor already knew about you. And when he got involved with this king of cups, some sort of investing here. It's Ace of Wands, Ten of Cups, Nine of Cups, Ace of Wands, Queen of Cups. But they he is in the Five of Pentacles with his baby mama, so that investment must ain't go through, especially if they had to call some type of truce because of their disagreement regarding you. Okay? That's what it's looking like. King of Swords on the bottom. Yeah. So this emperor already knew who this divine feminine was. Okay? And this King of Cups, he asked this King of Cups, did he know this woman? And it, it went left, child. It went left. Clarify. Three of Swords, trying to tell you. So that's why his po pockets are hurting. Because whatever he could have had going with this Emperor got thwarted. Because... He found out this emperor was interested in somebody that he used to kick it with. That he still be wishing he could have. And he ain't like that shit. So he done lost some, some sort of business opportunity. And he done lost his opportunity to reconnect with his divine feminine. Because this emperor is her divine masculine. He is. Nine of pentacles out here again. Page of wands. God is a very clever and creative God, okay? Just like that karma is clever and creative. God orchestrates that karma. And that karma for this King of Cups is that he got to watch a man that was going to put money in his pockets, wife the jerk that he been wanting to get with for a long time, who he been trying to stop from getting with somebody else. That's how karma finna slap his ass in the face, okay? Because he finna have to eat that. He finna have to eat that. I'm telling you, death out here again. He ain't finna stop this woman from being with this emperor because this emperor is going to communicate to this nine of pentacles how he wants to end this cycle of being a single woman and wipe her up. And that's on period. That's rough right there. The fool. Oh, he finna take that risk coming in again out here twice. Out here as the fool twice with the king of pentacles now. So they out here as each other's match three times. Okay? That, that offer coming. So, you know, this is how karma can come back to you in an unexpected way. Because he ain't never thought that he was going to Meet the man who was going to override his spiritual manipulation and partner with this woman. Mm, that is rough. Final messages. 
final messages, four of swords, five of cups. I'm trying to tell you, baby's sick. He's sick now. There's some sort of collapse or breakdown. He's experiencing some sort of inability to cope because he cannot block her love life anymore. And then who coming towards her? That's even worse, child, because he needed this man's money. He needed this man to invest in him and put money in his pocket after he done went and put money in the pocket of somebody else to stop them from coming towards this divine feminine. Mm. Now he out here weighing his options because of this action that he took that's got him at the Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands out here again. His energy... His trials and tribulations are repeating themselves out here. That's because of how he tried to block this woman from having a divine partnership. And I'm dropping the mic. I hope this message helped someone. I hope it gave you insight and guidance on how to move forward. But always remember, y'all, if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. Take only what resonates, leave the rest, and I'll be back soon with another one. Peace, y'all.